Tuberous begonias, agroplants.org, also known as begonia superhybrida. This herbaceous gelfit, uh, this is why it's uh, tuberous, it grows as perennial evergreen or as annual plant. It's used for the ornamental flowers, also the leaves are very very beautiful. Uh, you can be see variety of leaves, uh, can be, the leaves can be green, purple or yellow. Uh, if you would like to grow it, there is a link below or a link in the right side in, in the top of the video. And this is donation for this channel. You can just purchase it and this is donation. Also, don't forget to subscribe. So, some information about growing. So, it can grow in variety of climate. Tropical, Mediterranean, subtropical or te temperate climate. Uh, in a hardiness zone from 10B plus as perennial and as annual from 5 to 10A. Uh, be aware that it's a great houseplant and doesn't require a lot of uh, sun. Half shade or full shade with light will be great for this plant. And the flowers, it's very, very unique and beauty. It can arrive in a variety of color. It can be pink, red, orange, yellow, or white. It can be also more than one color. And the petals can be regular flower or full flower. So if you want to grow it, I highly recommend mostly a full flower. I don't know why, it's just more prettier. Uh, so information about growing. So it needs uh, humidity, uh, moist soil, and uh, about the soil itself, uh, better well fertilized, rich soil. You can start by seeds, plant, or just uh, cutting. And if you want specific cultivar, better to start with uh, something specific, because if you put seeds, you never know what you get. About uh, the planting season. Planting season, uh, if, you grow, if you live in the tropical area, it will be all the year. And if you live in a colder area, it will be in the spring to the summer. Uh, if it's too much hot summer, don't uh, put it over the summer, it might die. A uh, main thing that you need to know about uh, growing is that it requires average amount of water. Uh, it's grow from 20 to 30 centimeters, this is the height, plus minus. Uh, it mean like uh, 8 to 12 inches. You need to prune only dead parts, like dead heads and dead leaves. Uh, if you grow it for beauty, of course, take leaves that start to die. If you know you can live with it, you know all the mineral go back to the the plant itself. So better not to cut them so much fast. You know, let them first uh, the plant to absorb all the mineral from the leaves. Uh, as I said before, uh, light condition it's half shade or full shade. Uh, if you have very very hot area, I would highly recommend full shade. Uh, because here, if I will put it in a half shade, it will burn by the hot summer, by the sun. And this is why you can grow it also as a house plant. Uh, about the blooming. So, again, cold area will bloom mostly in spring, uh, summer, and even, you can say, autumn, early autumn. If it's in the hot area, it will be most of the year, also in the winter, but uh, here it's in the winter it's not bloom anymore so be aware that in hardiness zone B uh, 10B it's not bloom in the winter so just uh, this is how it is here but as far as I understand it's bloom most of the year so be aware that when you choose it you have to choose the right color of the leaves and the right shape of the leaves so the shape of the leaves there is heart shape round lobed snail uh, and of course you have the flower, so not enough you choose the leaves, you need to choose the flower. So be aware what color, what shape of flowers would you like, full flower, flat flower. It's something to consider before you start to grow it and of course you before you buy it. That's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website. And of course if you have any question, just ask. You have here links about more videos some list, subscribe, 
and of course perch a plant and this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy and come visit us again.